Howdy folks, Sandra Lee here, aka Nocturnal Butterfly, coming at you from Ontario again with a what the fuck is in my pot. Not gonna lie, this string of hearts has been neglected for a while now. I was battling issues all winter, finally have those under control, thank goodness, and I'm also changing plant rooms at the moment, so things have been pretty hectic. Now on to the mysterious shroom story. The other night I was laying in bed when I remembered I had forgotten to water my philodendrons, so I popped up and hauled ass downstairs. I flicked the light on, grabbed my pot of water, and started watering the fills. When I looked down into my string of hearts pot, I seen this weird little thing popping out. So I called for Eric, because I'm like, what the is this? And he's looking at it, he says, I think it's a flower. And I said, no, I thought it was a flower at first too. But upon closer inspection, I was almost 100% sure that it was a mushroom. I immediately Googled mushroom in my house plant and found the website mushroomappreciation.com. I will post the link down below in the description. I found out it's called the yellow houseplant mushroom, but don't pluck it up and fry it. It's poisonous. So keep it out of reach of tiny hands and your beloved pets. Now there's good news and bad news about this little guy. Good news is it most likely will not harm your plant. Bad news is it will never, ever go away. It's brought in by contaminated soil, either by on someone's clothing or just something that fell into the soil, etc. You can read more about it on the website. You can remove it and even change your soil, but its tiny spores shall remain forever with your precious plant. Now I'm keeping this one, of course. She's made it through hell and back and deserves to live her best life. So I guess she will be with a roommate, the houseplant shroom. Please take care out there, stay safe, and as always, much love.